Hey, hey, this is Alexey from East5 Studios, and today we're going to talk about applying materials to different sections of an object. This is Materials 105. So, we have a model of a banana, which isn't that complicated. It's just, yeah, just a cylinder basically, which I deformed and made a bunch of cuts into. And ta da, banana. So, the first way how to apply material is you go to polygon mode, you select some polygons. And you drag and drop a an material onto it, and boom, you have material applied just to that. If you also apply the yellow thing, then you'll see that it can't see the brown. So you got to make sure that here, the yellow is before the brown, so it layers on top, because it's like a layer system. But obviously this isn't always super functional. I mean, like if you want the bottom of it to be brown, you can select it, like this, and then you can apply it, you can just drag the brown material on it. But it's going to be a very rough edge, and it's not always what you want. So let's delete these again. Now, just think, sometimes this method doesn't work when you drag and drop for whatever reason. So what you can do manually is you just select the polygons that you want. You go select and set selection. And you'll see this little tag appears here. And then when you apply a material on top of it, and you click on this tag here in attributes, it says selection, and you just drag the tag there. And there you go. Now you have it just applied there. So that's how you manually do the same thing if it doesn't, if dragging and dropping doesn't work. So what I want to show though is how to use vertex maps. So let's select these points here on the edge, the rectangular selection, and then we're going to select and let's set our vertex weight to 100 and press OK. And now you see that you have this nice gradation because you have a vertex map. Um, the thing is how to apply this vertex map is you need to go into you need to make an alpha channel and then you make here you go into effects and there's going to be a vertex map shader there and then in here this is where you drag the vertex map into it also a good idea to call this vertex map a name otherwise it messes up so brown and then here we drag it in and now if we get the render thing it doesn't work that's because we didn't apply the material on top of the banana there you go, and now you have a nice gradation going in. And the cool thing about vertex maps is you can actually just, for example, when you double click on it, you get this paint tool, and you can set this weight, for example, to like you know 8%, and make sure this is set to add, and then you can just paint on where you want some more brown, for example, here. And now when you hit render, you have a brown spot there. And also, similarly, you can go and you can erase these a bit, oops. That's a different, make sure you have a tag selector that you're doing it. So we can erase these a bit. And now you have a less you know, regular piece. And then we can make sure you unselect the tag and select the banana. And then you can select the top here. And maybe not these points. And let's do the set selection again. Select and set vertex weight to 100. And let's call this tag green. And now with the green material, also in the alpha channel, make sure it's a vertex map shader. And you can now drag the green thing into there. Now when you hit render, wait, make sure the green material is on it. Ta-da, green top. See, very nifty. And in the next release of Cinema 40 in R20, you can also dynamically generate these vertex maps with like uh, fall-offs and um, effectors and whatnot and like fields, they're called fields. And that's also very nifty. So there you have it. This is my tutorial on how to apply materials to things, I mean, to different sections of a model. And obviously this is like, right, uh, this depends on how many points you have on your model. So if you, for example, selected all the points and you go subdivide here and make sure this is set to smooth and like three, you'll have a lot more points. So now you can, paint much more um, detailed patterns in point mode, you can, you know, you have a lot more, but then obviously the mesh is a bit heavier. There you go, see, and you can paint little patterns on your stuff like that. So, very handy, but also notice it is kind of blocky if you paint like this, so maybe select this and then go here and go, where is it, smooth? and apply all, a couple of times maybe. Then it should blend a bit better. There you go. 
So yeah, I hope you learned something from this. If you like these tutorials, don't forget to check out my website and my shop. I have lots of little rigs for sale, which are both fun to play with and they support me making more tutorials. So have a good one. This was Alexei from Ace5 Studios.